you know, it, it's that time of year again when, you know, the wheels on the bus go round and round. You know that the summer splash is coming at the Department of Parks and Recreation. Now, what do they call this? The Canine Splash Fest. Okay. So, exactly where is 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 this at Maxi? No, it's at Clap Pool. Clap Park. Sorry, where's Clap at again? It is, uh, the pool is all at 46th and Avenue U. Oh, yeah, got it. Got it. Okay, um, so this is kind of a last thing. At the, yeah, last thing <laughs> in the pool because you know, I, I guess after you put the dogs in the water, it's it takes a little while it's to get over. it all cleaned you up. You bet. Yeah. We do this on the last day the pools are open, just for that reason because uh, we don't want to have to try to actually clean it for the people to use the next day or well, like the I'm next saying, day or two. So I hate it when I get a hair in my mouth. Yeah, exactly. But it is one of our favorite events. Uh, it's from 1 to 5 on Sunday. and This weekend? This weekend. Wow, the pools are already closing. Yep, because kids, you know, a lot of our lifeguards are getting ready to go back to school, and so this is about as long as we can stretch it out. Wow. Well, you know, I was driving down the road the other day, and I see this sign of, over at, uh, on Quaker. Haverty's already has a Labor Day sale sign up. Oh, I know. I'm like going, shut up. I know. Halloween stuff is already out. You know, it's just everybody's got to be first. Yep. Anyway, uh, this deal is the last. So uh, it start, it's 1 to 5, you said, on Sunday? It is 1 to 5. Uh, dogs get in free. They should have their rabies vaccine, their tag on for 2015. No or, tag, no entry. Or they can have the certificate from the vet. The vet can print something off for them if they, they need to get that. So they might want to plan ahead for that. And they should bring their leash. And we encourage folks to bring a small bowl for water. You can get fresh water. Uh, they will get dehydrated if you're out there for a long time. And we don't want them drinking the pool water. And so we encourage folks to do that as well. But bring the family. Uh, the kids love it. We have folks that are uh, all ages come bring their dog just to swim. But then we have our contest, the swimsuit competition, where they don their beach attire and uh, they'll get prizes for that. Then we have our retrieving and our diving. And then we've added a 25-yard uh, dash, so to speak, uh, swim race in the water. Really? Yes. So you got any dogs that are like, do they go off the high board or anything? We don't have a high board, but we have the we have two diving boards, and they do go off. And when they do, they launch out over that water and hang some air, and it is something to behold. So they just get up there, and they know how to act, or are they chasing a ball, or are they throwing Normally, food in the water? Or? No, tennis balls, big thing. They Just whatever toy is their favorite, those dogs will go after it. And some are used to the water, and and they know what to do and others they get coaxed into it and figure it out as they go along you got any people that are just pushing them off no <laughs> <laughs> they do stand they encourage them they get in the water they but if they if they don't do it they don't do it well do you, I, I gotta just i mean and i'm not trying to be a killjoy or anything but do you ever have any dogs go into distress and you have to have a lifeguard dive in and save a dog I mean, we, like, I mean, like, sometimes people throw them in. They think, well, they just know how to swim. But some dogs may not know how to swim. Well, and many folks, if it's their dog's first time, they go in in that shallow area that's maybe a foot deep. But even for the little dogs, that can can be difficult. But some of them, you can buy the doggy life jackets. Some of them have those for their dogs just for that reason. But since the person, the owners are normally in the water with them, we've not had any issues. Okay, goody. All right, so this is one to five at Clap Park. What's the cost for human beings to enter? It's two fifty for adults and two dollars for kids. It's our regular fee. So should be a whole lot of fun anyway. Even if you don't have a dog, you might want to go over there and watch. I encourage folks to do that because it is just fun to watch the dogs. Everybody gets along. It's just amazing to me that this is our tenth year to do it which that alone is amazing that we've been doing it this long. And it's really grown uh, popularity-wise with our fans right. out there. Okay, uh, in the summer splash, the canine splash coming up this Sunday at uh, Clap Park 1 to 5. Now, as school starts, Parks and Recreation is going to have some more activities coming up, kind of shifting gears a little bit. We'll stay in touch with you on that stuff, okay? You bet. All right, thanks for coming in. Thanks.